In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus KOH, copper 2 sulfate plus potassium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. To do that, I can see that I have two hydrogens, two oxygens, and then two potassiums, where over here I just have one of each. If I put a two as my coefficient in front of the KOH, those are balanced, the copper is the same, and this SO4, I see it here and here, that's balanced as well. So that's the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. Copper sulfate, very soluble. And then potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. That's soluble as well. It'll break apart into its ions when we put it in water. Most hydroxides are not soluble. Potassium, that's in group one. Hydroxides with group one elements in general, they are soluble. But the other ones, not soluble. So we're going to put an S. That means it's a solid. It didn't dissolve. So when this reaction happens, we'll have this solid form, this copper 2 hydroxide, and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Sulfates in general soluble, especially with group 1 elements like potassium, a little AQ. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. It's called the complete ionic equation, sometimes the total ionic equation. So to do that, we need to know the charges. Sulfate ion, that's always 2 minus, so the copper has to be 2 plus, and that's why we're calling it copper 2. So we have Cu2 plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't do that now, plus the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. Then potassium group 1, 1 plus, the hydroxide always 1 minus. So I have two potassium ions, two of the K plus ions, potassium plus two of the hydroxide ions, two OH minus. Those are the reactants. For the products, we don't split solids apart when we do net ionic equations. So we're just going to write CuOH2. Keep that together. Plus we said we have a one plus and a two minus here, so we'll put K plus, but the two here means we have two of those. Then we have just the sulfate. That's the SO4 2 minus. So those are the ions. Now we can cross out the spectator ions and that'll give us the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus KOH. So spectator ions, they appear on both sides of the equation in the reactants and in the products. So this SO4 here, SO4 2 minus sulfate ion, I have it here in the reactants, here in the products cross that out. Two potassium ions, two potassium ions. Cross it out. But everything else, that's unique. And that gives us the net ionic equation for copper 2 sulfate plus potassium hydroxide. Let me clean this up, add the states in, and then we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation. You'll notice a few things. The atoms, we have the same number and type of atoms on each side, so that's balanced. And the charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus here, and then we have 2 times the 1 minus, 2 minus. So this is a neutral compound. The charges balance out. And this is the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus KOH. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.